Hey guys, it's Mike Whitfield, and I want to talk a little bit about adventure race training. Obviously, uh, races like the Tough Mudder and adventure races are on the rise. They're getting more and more popular because of the challenge that it brings. But a lot of people have been asking me, how do you train specifically for a race like this? And do you have to do lots and lots of running? Here is what I would do if I was in your place. Okay, And this is just based on the adventure race training program that Craig has offered. And what I would do is your long run, you can actually get away with just one long run per week. And I would actually do that at the end of the week, perhaps on Saturday. So that's your long run. And that's all that's really necessary. Now, metabolic resistance training is crucial. What I would do is probably at least one to two, you know, somewhat moderate to heavy resistance training. And then, of course, one body weight training uh, day per week. And what that's going to do is that's going to build up stamina and endurance. And also, it's going to help you hang on to muscle while you work out and uh, you know get ready for this event and keep you from from losing muscle throughout the whole process now here's another thing too is you also want to implement uh, intervals specifically hill sprints and that's going to help you better prepare for the race without having to do lots and lots of cardio uh, for one thing it's boring and second it can uh, it, it just leads to boredom as well as overuse injury so like I said obviously your long race day can be one day a week so here's what I suggest. Check out Craig's program. He actually lays it out all for you. you click on the link below to check that out. But that's basically kind of a template, if you will, to put together your own adventure race training program. So like I said, at least two, day, uh, two days of resistance training, one day a week of long distance running training, and of course um, some body weight movements in there. And what you want to do is also implement some hill sprints and interval training as well, and that will get you prepared for the big day. So hopefully that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.